I'm gonna react to me too. I don't trust her. And this is by my soul animated. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Jasper from Colorado. Please, like and subscribe. I was born in a rich household and lived in a huge mansion with tons of servants. My nursery was filled with more things than any kid could possibly need. But I didn't have a mom. And my dad was always working really hard and didn't have much time for me. Once when I was five, I was playing football with my nanny. And I kicked the ball hard, making it fly through the window into dad's home office. I ran inside to get it. Hey, dad, come on, let's play football, please. Where is your nanny? This is what I'm paying you for. Your job is to keep him busy and not annoy me. Dad was the worst. That night, I decided to run away. But just when I was at the door, someone pulled me back by the shoulder. It was Dad. Where do you think you're going? To find a new family. I don't want to live with you. You're mean and grumpy and don't love me. He just looked at me and shook his head. Then he took me to my bedroom. It was probably the first time he'd ever tucked me into bed. But the next day, was the same, never having any time for me. For my ninth birthday, I expected he'd be home, but once again, he was away for some business meeting. Master Jasper, your father has sent you this present. It has instructed us to wish you a very happy birthday. Can you please clear everything away? I'm not hungry, but the cook spent hours making this cake for you, sir. I looked at the cook's face and couldn't bear to disappoint her. Of course I'll cut the cake. It looks amazing, but I don't want the present. Closing my eyes, I made the same wish I made each year on my birthday, but this time, I really meant it. God, please send my mom back to me. Please, please, please. Come on now. Everyone say amen. Amen. The next morning, I woke up to someone's loud voice downstairs, and I found a strange woman in our house, dressed in weird clothes. Oh my God. Richard, darling, you never told me you're such a rich man. Look at the furniture, the chandelier, everything. And who's this handsome fella? Let me guess. You're Jasper, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Think you are? I'm Linda, you're... No. Wait, I want you to guess. I don't know. My new nanny? Listen, Dad, I don't need a nanny anymore. I'm grown up now. No, dummy. I'm your new mommy. No one's ever too grown up to have a mommy. Your dad and I got married yesterday, and here I am. The woman hugged me so tight. I felt like she'd squeeze the air out of me. Dad got married without even telling me? Sure, I wanted a mom, but this wasn't what I expected. Soon, my friends in school found out I had a stepmom, and they warned me to stay away from her, because all stepmoms were awful. The loudest was my best friend, a neighbor, Sonia. She was always saying my new stepmom was a weirdo, and I shouldn't trust her. One time, Linda packed a huge lunchbox for me, and when I opened it at school, the smell was fantastic. But for some reason, Sonia pinched her nose. Yuck! Jasper, what is this? Uh, it's some pasta Linda made for me. I think I'll try it. I wouldn't eat that if I were you. My mom said she's evil, and she married your dad for money. And now she's just trying to win you over. She isn't your real mom, Jasper. Don't be such a dodo and just dump that in the garbage. I felt bad about throwing away food, so I ended up giving it to a homeless person on my way home. And when I got back, the first question Linda asked me was how I like my lunch. Look, you're not my mom, so you can stop acting like it. I know you're up to no good. You're a stepmom. All stepmoms are bad. She looked hurt hearing my words, but then to my surprise, she suddenly started to smile. Yep, I'm up to no good. Want to know what I plan to do? I will love you so much that you'll be telling everyone soon that I'm the best mom in the world. Saying that, she ran after me with one of her signature t You're not my mom, so you can stop acting like it. I know you're up to no good. You're a stepmom. All stepmoms are bad. She looked hurt hearing my words, but then to my surprise, she suddenly started to smile. Yep, I'm up to no good. Want to know what I plan to do? I will love you so much that you'll be telling everyone soon that I'm the best mom in the world. Saying that, she ran after me to give me one of her signature tight hugs, but I ran out into the garden, slipped straight into some mud, and Linda came crashing right behind me. We stared at each other for a few seconds, and then suddenly she grabbed some mud 
and threw it right in my face. She burst out laughing, and so did I. And we were suddenly in the middle of a mud fight. She seemed to enjoy it like a kid, and didn't care one bit about how dirty we both got. Linda really didn't seem evil to me, like everyone said. Just a fun-loving person who genuinely cared about me. That night, I let her tuck me in bed and told her I'd include her in my nighttime prayers. Oh, Jasper, you're such a kind soul. Please don't ever change. And always protect your good heart. I will always love you. And hope you can love me one day, too. As your mom. I think I already do. I love you, Mom. I love you, too, son. After that day, Mom and I were a team. I loved her so much, and she adored me, but Sonia always hated her, and she got even meaner after her parents got divorced. I was sorry she was unhappy, but I didn't let her bitter words affect my relationship with Mom. Things were great until I turned 14, and Mom and Dad announced that they were having a baby. A baby? Why? Mom was so excited about it, that I was afraid that the love she had for me would be divided, but I didn't want her to think I wasn't happy for her. So, I organized a huge baby shower. When she got home that day from shopping, she was ecstatic. Oh my god, Jasper, honey, this is beautiful. I love it. The party was awesome, and everyone seemed to be having a great time. But when I went outside by the pool to look for Sonia, I overheard some woman from our neighborhood gossiping about Mom. Gosh, that poor stupid boy. She's really got Jasper wrapped around her fingers. Of course, she's gonna take all his money one day. Yeah. Sonia is always telling me about how crazy Jasper is about his stepmom. He doesn't know the truth, I guess. That woman was some waitress who trapped his poor father. Such a gold digger. I felt my blood boil with rage. But before I could yell at them, someone grabbed my hand and pulled me away. It was mom. And she heard all those awful things those women had to say about her, too. Don't say anything. Please. It'll only cause a scene. You know how much your dad hates it. But how dare they say those things about you? while standing in your house. It's not worth it, Jasper. Saying that, Mom went back inside. And then I accidentally bumped into Sonia's mom and made her entire gossiping gang fall into the pool. It was hilarious. Their makeup was running down their faces, and Sonia's mom's wig was floating around in the pool as she shrieked and went after it. Suddenly, Sonia came up to me and pushed my shoulder. Hey, I saw that. You pushed my mom in on purpose. Why would you do that? Because your mom deserves it. Not just her, but you too. Ever since my mom came, you've had nothing but awful things to say about her. I'm not interested in listening anymore. Anyone who has something bad to say about my mom, get out now. The party was soon over as the guests left grumbling. Dad was pissed, but instead of yelling at me, he directed all his anger at mom. You did this. My son used to be a well-behaved boy, and you spoiled him. But what else should I have expected from a low-class woman? Low class? Who do you think you're calling low class? That night, Dad and I had a huge fight, and things were never the same between us. But I forgot everything when my baby sister Indigo was born. I had never seen a human as tiny as her. It was love at first sight. I was always by Mom's side to take care of her. But after Indigo's birth, Dad seemed to be even busier. He'd be away from home for weeks. One day, while I was scrolling Facebook, I came across Sonia's post. She was posting vlogs while vacationing in the Bahamas. And suddenly, I saw someone in the background that made me gasp. It was Dad, kissing Sonia's mom. I felt stunned, angry. I ran to tell Mom, who then told me that she had already known for months. You knew Mom? Why didn't you tell me? And how could you stay with him? He's a cheater. If I leave him, where will I go? It's not just Indigo I have to think about. You're my son, Jasper. I can't bear to lose you. Your dad already blames me for ruining your relationship with him, and he won't let me see you if I leave. No one can keep me away from you, Mom. When Dad returned a week later, he was in a bad mood as usual. And the moment he saw Indigo crying, he started yelling. Make her stop. Her crying gives me a headache. Just take her away from me. And that made me see red. She's your daughter. You never wanted anything to do with me. And now you don't want anything to do with her, too? And don't yell at Mom. If you keep behaving like this, Dad, you'll end up all alone. Oh, I don't think so. Why? Because you're with Sonia's mom now? Yeah, we know about that. She's awful, and you deserve her. How dare you talk to me like that? And because of this woman, you love her so much? Fine. Why don't you leave with her? All of you, get out! For the first time, 
Mom yelled back at Dad, and soon after, we packed our bags and left with Indigo. Mom filed for a divorce and rented a tiny apartment with some of the savings she had. Don't worry. We'll get through this. Yeah, Mom. I know we will. Mom started working double shifts as a waitress, but since she was an amazing cook, she soon opened a small home-based food business. And within a few months, we were even able to buy a food truck. While Mom was busy working, I took care of Indigo. She was a naughty one. Come find me, Jasper. Oh, where is Indigo? Is she under the bed? Or behind the curtain? Or here, got you. With her lovely brown eyes and black hair like Mom's, she looked like a doll. She was my sunshine. Things were good. And mom even saved money to put me in college. But one day, I was taking a class when I got a call that shook my world. Indigo was gone. Mom had last seen her playing in the backyard. And now she was missing. She was right here and then she wasn't. Oh, Jasper, I have to find my baby. We'll find her, mom. I promise. I will look everywhere till I find her. And I really did. I searched for my sister day and night. Those were the toughest times of my life. I even called dad for help, but he just hung up on me. For years, I looked for Indigo everywhere. The police also helped us, but we never found her. Sometime later, mom had a fall in the kitchen one day, and she was unable to walk for a few months. So by the time I was 20, I was working as an Uber driver and also studying in a night college while taking care of mom as she slowly got her strength back. One night when I got home from work, I heard something I hadn't heard in years. Mom's <laughs> laughter. I tiptoed to the kitchen and found her there with her physical therapist. She'd been working really hard the past few months. He seemed to like her, and I guess she liked him too. Oh, you're home, Jasper. I felt well enough to cook today, and I made your favorite pasta. Wow, thank you, Mom. I'm so glad you're feeling better, but don't tire yourself out. Things were good, except for the fact that Indigo wasn't in our lives. One day, I was driving a customer when he noticed the picture I always kept on my dashboard. It was Indigo's. He asked me about it. And when I told him she was my sister, the man looked shocked. And what he told me next took my breath away. He knew where Indigo was, but he wasn't 100% sure. I listened in shock as the man explained that he found a little girl on a bus years ago, looking completely lost. He and his wife had tried looking for a family, but they had no luck. They adopted her. I couldn't stop crying as he told me everything. I always knew I'd find her one day. The very next day, I was outside a big house with Mom. Whose house is this, Jasper? Why are we here? And I can't climb all these stairs. You'll see. Come, I'll help you. I lifted Mom in my arms and carried her up the stairs. She looked really confused as we walked inside. But then, she froze. Standing before us was a little girl with lovely brown eyes and long black hair. Mom held on to me for support as she started to cry. Oh my god, Jasper, can it be? Is this, is this really her? Mom sobbed as she ran to Indigo and hugged her tight. I wrapped my arms around them both as we all cried. I always knew I'd find you, Indigo. I never gave up hope. I missed you so much. I love you a lot. With Indigo back in our lives, our family was complete and life was perfect. Wow, that was so sad, but very, 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 I don't know. So this is, this is by, um, Master Anime, I'll leave the description down below. Thanks for watching, next time, bye!